Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and a little bit of Optic Woody in here. I'm playing Sharpshooter, and I get these uh, sniper rifles assigned to me. And typically in Sharpshooter, when I play this game, I do really well with the regular guns. Like, I tend to do better than average. And then when, like, the RPGs, the death machines, and the, you know, akimbo executioners break out, I start not doing as well, you know? Like, I'm better than average with an MP7. I'm not very good with, like, the oddball stuff that I don't tend to use in games so much. But uh, um, in this game, I actually do do, uh, I do do, woohoo, yeah, everybody does. <laughs> uh, I actually do fairly well uh, with, with some of the weapons that I don't use all the time, and that's cool. But that happens in the second half. I wanted to talk about Sharpshooter in general, and those of you who watch all my videos have heard me say this before, but that's not most of you. You know, interesting stat. About 40% of my views come from people who are not subscribed at all, so they haven't seen all my stuff. So, Anyway, for those guys, Sharpshooter is clearly the best way to rank up in this game. If you didn't know that, it's not even a discussion. Period. The score per minute, that you, the, the XP per minute, I should say, that you get in Sharpshooter is higher than anywhere else. Um, you might get an equivalent amount of XP, like on Double XP Weekend, it's not weird at all to get like 25, 30,000 XP, which is good. Some people are getting 80,000 XP in a five-minute game. It's a five-minute game. That's the key part of it. You know, I, I see guys say, Woody, I also got a lot of XP in this, like, three-round demo game or in this domination game. Right, but they weren't five-minute games. This game is five minutes long, and you can get a ton of XP. In a bad game, you might get 10,000 XP on a double XP weekend, and on a good one, you could get 50 or 80. You know, people tweet me with this stuff. This is the game mode you use to rank up. And here, see, I this is the thing. Watch. I don't use RPGs in this game. I, like, never do. They're never equipped. It's not really a skill set I've developed. I'm, I'm not good with noob tubes. I'm not good with RPGs. So I don't have the, like, weapon bonus unlocks and stuff like that. If you unlock all your stuff, then... Um, you, you're gonna, you know, get weapon challenges in Sharpshooter that you might not get in-game. If you sit here and use your MP7, well, dude, you've already got your MP7 in gold, right? You probably don't have a gold RPG. You might, some of you are crazy. But um, you can go here and start doing work and get your RPG challenges that you maybe you wouldn't have gotten any other way. So, so that's what I'm trying to tell you. Use your tokens. That's another key thing, right? See, I never use this gun. What is it, a ballista with iron sights? Um, but, you know, you only get your weapon bonuses if you unlock that weapon. So if you're like me, it's easy to go through a prestige, and by the time that you're at the end of it, you've got, like, whatever, 15 tokens laying around for stuff that you didn't even unlock, right? Some perks just suck, and I don't tend to use them. Well, unlock those weapons, unlock the kill streaks like uh, Death Machine and War Machine because they show up in this game and then get your challenges, get your bonuses for them. You probably don't run War Machine a lot but it's going to show up in this thing and you're going to be getting some kills with it so you know, get your, get your bonuses. When you play this game work an area. If you just sprint laps around this ship the whole time or boat the whole time, I don't even know, then um you're not going to, you're going to be, you know, the bait, right? You're just sort of like trolling yourself around, right? Imagine you being on the end of a fishing line, being drug around the edge of the ship until you find your murderer. That's how this goes. But if you lock down an area, see, there's a dead body. I thought there was a person. If you lock down an area like I'm doing here, get this guy and then collateral with a headshot and <laughs> take out this guy. Don't be sprinting around the entire map. Instead, let them come to you. Know where the spawns are. Pay attention to where you are when you come alive. And then, you know, know a couple of spawns in an area and just take advantage of them. I know there's going to be guys popping up there on the other side and down there. You know, the two edges of this particular map are good, but there are good spots on every map that you can use. You know, if you're on carrier, I like to be in two spots. Both of them sort of the low areas, like low elevation-wise. One's by that plane that's kind of at the bottom. You know you know the plane I'm talking about? Not the one that's up high people stand on, but the one that's down low. And the other is... Uh, oh, oh, um, by the, the domination flag that has that little railing around the edge of it. I'm not describing it well, but by ADOM, where you go down there, you can sit on those steps and then work people as you use the steps to sort of head glitch and, and do your job. So um, anyway, every map has a spot where there's two or three spawns nearby it. And you can sit there and work those areas and get your kills and get your kill streaks to get you know, your double points. And you will rank up a ton by playing this game. So uh, 
Anyway, that's it. Lock down the areas. Um, do it. Oh, oh, another thing I wanted to throw out. That, I guess that wasn't it, huh? Um, I like to use this game type, especially at the start of a prestige, right? Sometimes it's frustrating for me to begin a prestige and not have some of the core things unlocked that I like to have unlocked, right? Like, you know, for example, I have a preference, you know, for maybe an EMP grenade, but I haven't blown a token on them yet. Well, you know, in this game type, Everybody plays on an equal footing. It doesn't matter if you're level 55, master prestige, or if you're rank one in your current prestige. Um, you, you, everybody plays with the same goodies, and therefore it's a nice game mode to play at the very start of your prestige because you won't find yourself at a disadvantage. You can just sit there, play, and do your thing. So, um, so yeah, that's my little pitch for sharpshooter. There is no faster way to rank up. The games are only five minutes long and you get as much XP as you do in the 10 and 15 minute long game types. And you get all sorts of challenge XP because it forces you to use weapons that maybe you haven't used already. If you burn your unlock tokens on them, then you will get you know bonuses in every single game. It's not weird at all for me to get, um, uh, you know, the, the kind of, you know, like, shucks. I, I get 40 and 50,000 XP games in this. People tweet me their screenshots. They get 80,000 XP. There are people who are pulling big XPs in this game type. And um, I don't know. It's double XP weekend. I know I've said some of this before, but I thought I would say it again. Because, you know, it's double XP weekend and this is the time that maybe you need to hear it. So, uh, so that was that. Oh, let's get on to the regular outro part. So if you enjoyed this commentary, maybe it taught you something you didn't know before, be sure to click subscribe in the top right. Uh, two videos you may have missed. On the left is Feedback Friday, where I answer questions that came from you. Also, I give a class tip at the very start of it. And um, on the right, I talk about copyrights. And I think that's a pretty interesting commentary. I don't know. This is the sort of thing you find on my channel. So check those out and have a good day.